What's up guys? Welcome back to Fiber Laser Training. Uh, we're in our fourth video of the series, we're unboxing the 60 watt MOPA. I was gonna try to just take it out and, and load the software and everything on the, like live, or not live, but our first take. And uh, it was not as easy as it would seem. So, but I will give you a quick run through because I did figure out how to do it and then hopefully you can see my screen and it's not like super glared. You see my beautiful wife here. But the first thing you're gonna wanna do obviously is plug everything into the back. You're gonna plug in your power and you're gonna plug in your data cable. And then we're gonna go ahead and mount that to our computer. And just like any other fibers, you would come down here into the search bar or into your Windows Explorer and you'll be looking for device manager. Uh, device manager will pop up and you can see this is all the stuff that we have the lasers off right now. And so if I turn on the galvanometer switch, then it automatically sees the new device. Well, BJCZ, it will say DL1000, I believe. You would highlight it and right click. Then you scroll down to this update driver. When you go to update driver, you will go down to browse my computer for drivers. And in the EasyCAD folder for EasyCAD 3, that's what this is for EasyCAD 3. It actually just said EasyCAD 3 driver. There was just one. Unlike in EasyCAD 2, there's usually a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version, EasyCAD 3 is running the 64-bit driver. So you would just browse your computer. And very important to take the files off of the USB and put them on your computer for two reasons. First and foremost, the main reason you would want to do that is because it preserves all the original uh, settings and, and things like that. This has an automatic Z, so they have focus positions already set and whatnot in there. So if you go changing those numbers around, you might find yourself in a, some trouble. And if you haven't manipulated the original files, then you can go back and reference those numbers. So it's a good thing to unpack everything off of the USB and put it on the desktop. But as you see, it says 64-bit signed 3D. We'll click on that and hit OK. And then you would hit next and it says we're successfully installed our drivers and then we hit close now here's the tricky part if you have if you're thinking about getting easycad 3 uh, easycad 3 comes with a software key you have to have the software key in the computer and so you would launch your easycad files or your easycad application rather and it's called easycad 3 and two things you're gonna need to do pretty much immediately. Uh, the first one being here, which I already did, and so it won't pop up, but it'll say um, the correct file is not loaded. And what you would do there is go into the F3 parameters. And the, in the second drop down menu, it says calibration. You can double click in that where it says users, C plus users or all that good stuff. Double click in that and then it'll bring your file explorer up excuse me there's three little dots on the very right you can't see them click on those three dots it'll bring your file explorer up what you're wanting to do is find the correction file that went with the easycad 3 and load it into the software in this particular instance i have the 110 millimeter lens on there so i would go to the 110 millimeter correction file and double click it and then there you go it is now the correct file and so when you load that correction file when you load easycad it won't give you that wrong file format warning that it normally does and the second thing you'll need to do actually this will be the first thing you need to do i kind of went backwards because you can't load the correction file without activating the license key and you will do that in your uh, package it says license manager right down here you will click on that license manager 
and then you will click this button right here up in the top left corner it looks like an A and it will say do you want to activate online via the internet or cannot connect the internet activated offline well that is not actually an option you cannot activate it offline so whenever you do online activation via the internet you hit OK the USB key will have a series of numbers and letters just like any software key would have and you will input those numbers and letters exactly how you see them in this and hit OK and then it'll tell you your software key has been activated it's also very important to note here too that you can only have this software key activated five times so don't randomly switch computers if you don't have to and if your computer just dies and you need a new one then that's obviously what you have to do but don't just run around and put this on every computer you have in your house because it can only be activated five times if the sixth time you literally have to buy a new software card and a new software key which is relatively expensive so activate the software first online and then load your correction file and then you can get to marking and so I will launch the EasyCAD 3 and we haven't marked anything yet just been fooling around with it um, that's kind of really just to be quite honest with you I'm still playing with it this is an auto Z so uh, I haven't had particular, I've trained people with them and, you know, just show them how to use them, but I want to set mine up for certain things, so I'm going to uh, play around with it a little bit, but it's pretty cool. You got to home the axis. Oh, I must turn this laser switch on. And then it'll, you know, if I want it to go down 100 millimeters then it's going to go down relatively 100 millimeters as long as those steps per rotation and everything are set like just just like your rotary would have to be so everything else roughly the same as EasyCAD 2 they've changed the name of a few things they've changed the spot of a lot of different things but this software is supposedly more stable and hopefully we'll be able to get doing some 3D stuff so that would be kind of cool because I want to see some 3D stuff. Noah isn't here right now. He is, uh, he is upstairs having a good old time with his buddies. So I just wanted to give you a rundown of that installation, if you will. And I'll go through it really, again, uh, really quick again. So let's shut this off. These guys were shut off. So remember, we're going to plug our power into the back of this machine. Then we've got to plug this machine into our computer. Once we have that done, we would cut this on. Come down here and search device manager, which is here, control panel. Now, it would down here it would say DL1000, and but I've already installed the driver, so mine says BJ JCZ device and you would right click on it to the button that says update driver we would browse our computer we would find the driver that we've put on our desktop we would install it and there would be a green status bar that usually should fill up and say boom your driver has been installed successfully whereas mine says the best driver for your device is already installed because i did it before we started the video and then that's it as far as the drivers go and then you would launch the EasyCAD software this is when you would need to activate your license key by going to license manager well that's really loud by going to license manager inputting your license key with the online activation it'll come back successful then you launch EasyCAD it'll tell you the wrong file format is loaded when you launch EasyCAD you go to F3 parameters. When you open up F3 parameters, the calibration files will be there. And if you can see, there's little three little dots over there on the very right hand side, and you would click those three dots. You would find the correction file, and then 110 is the lens I'm using. Open it up, 
it loads it. The next time you open EasyCAD, it will not give you the wrong file warning. So hopefully that helps somebody. Our next video, we're definitely gonna be marking with this bad boy, uh, figuring out how to find manual focus and all that good stuff. And I appreciate you watching. Uh, this is our favorite part of the show, at least mine. Noah said it wasn't his, but I think he's lying because he's always like, Dad, we need to do this dad joke. So that's what we're doing, dad jokes. Without further ado, dad jokes. So dad jokes, right? Mm-hmm. Mm, you told the last one. I did. And Theodore. You, yeah, you had to knock because Theodore was locked. I got a good one. And my mom still didn't answer well. Mm, I don't know who your mom is yet. So what is a gun store, a church, and our laser shop have in common? Um, I don't know. They all have pews, pews, pews. <laughs> We got lasers that pew pew. Now I have to give credit where credit is due. That is not my joke. You have to go back through the comments and figure out whose joke it is. And if you reply to his joke, then I'll give you a special coupon code to use on my website. Sound good? I like it. So thanks for watching. Uh, the, con the continuation of the series will have um, another video about a week, I'd say and hopefully get closer to wrapping this thing up answer any more questions you guys have mm -hmm. you don't think we'll be wrapping it up we'll actually just be starting then won't we because yeah. that's when we get to start lasering with it huh yeah yeah that's good it, it, it's this is going to be like 20 episodes not really but different videos we're gonna, 20 episodes we're gonna be like star wars or something or friends <laughs> <laughs> pew, pew. <laughs> pew pew that's right <laughs> pew pew with our photon blasters. So thanks again for watching, guys. Noah and I appreciate it. A lot. And uh, we will see you next time, right? Mm -hmm.